What's going on guys? So today I'm going to do my room tour of my toy room. I'm gonna show you guys my collection. I have most of it up, most of it displayed. There are some things that I just have kind of standing on the floor because I have no room for it. Just know the only parts of my collection that I won't show off is my World Nintendo collection. My World Nintendo figures, I'm pretty up to date with them. I have like every single one that's come out, but they're all packed away. I just have nowhere to put them along with my Transformers collection, guys. All that has been packed away. My Transformers collection has probably been packed away for like over a year. It's a crime too. I really want to display those, but my plan is I want to get some kind of big shelf to put on this wall and like move my big figs, my Jack Specific, move those somewhere else. And then hopefully I can display my Transformers in here, which this is kind of like my office room. Has my pops, my rooms in there. Um, but yeah, let's get into it, guys. I, I cleaned up the toy room as well as I could. I got everything displayed as well as I could, so hopefully it uh, it looks good. So I want to start off with the 6-inch Black Series line. The only like carded figures I've kept from this line is the 40th anniversary carded figures, just because I love the cards on them. So it's the only ones I've kept sealed. That's... That's probably what I should say, not carded. Um, these are the ones that I've kept sealed and not opened up. My Chewbacca's down there just because the bubble is, because of the figure being so heavy, the bubble has come off the card on some people's that have just hung them on the wall. So I have him down there. I need to get protective cases for these guys. Um, but here we go with the uh, collection. I have the centerpieces up here. I still need to get Kylo's. Uh, I'm gonna try to go slow so you guys can see all the figures. I've said this before on my Instagram, but I really don't like how these figures are displayed just because they're so stacked up on one another. Um, I do have two Darth Mauls just display them both ways. I love that figure. Um, but I want to get like a new shelf kind of similar to what my Legends is on. Wow, something fell. I have to fix that before I get to my Marvel Legends. But I want to get a shelf similar to this one um, to go right here. It should stretch and fit this entire little small part of the wall. I just have to move that little piece, that art piece. But I'm just going to show you guys what I got. Like I said, they're very stacked up on one another, so you can't really get to see how cool they look. But you'll get the idea. I do army build troopers. I'm going to try not to army build so much this year just because there's a lot of hot toys and stuff coming out that I really want to buy. So I'm going to try not to spend too much on these. I have like eight basic stormtroopers. One is up on the 40th stand. I need to get maybe like four or five more because I'm going to probably keep that one on the stand. I want like 12 of them displayed behind Vader. Um, down to my clones. Always looking for clones. So I don't know why I have that random astromech droid right there. I really don't know why. Um, then we got the first order down here. I have all of my, um, what is it, my Rogue One and my Force Awakens figures, most of them are all boxed away right now. I just have nowhere to put them. I brought out all my Rogue One troopers just to dis just to stand up to show on this video. I just have nowhere to put them right now, guys, along with the range troopers. And then I have my, the bigger sets. I got the Dewback right here. Um, and I plan on getting a couple more of those, so I need to figure out a way to display all these. Got Luke and his speeder. Got Ray and hers. Okay, so now I want to get into my Marvel Legends display. I do have some selects up here as well, you'll see. I don't really collect those very much, but I do have probably a, over a dozen of them spread throughout my uh, Legends display. And just so you guys know, this display really doesn't have a rhyme or reason. I just kind of throw things in where it fits and where it looks cool um, as I get it. I've kind of run out of space, so I need to get some more shelves. But I love my Sentinels. Those are awesome. When the new Omega Red comes out, I'll end up taking his little tentacles off and putting them on my other Sentinel because I don't have any tentacles for that Sentinel. But when the new one comes out, which I love this one. I love the tentacles, but man, those hips. That's bad. So I'm really looking forward to the new one. Oh wow, Kitty Pride, what are you doing? As you all know, that's the biggest problem with displaying your toys, them falling. And then down here is where you will see kind of my overhaul. I just don't know where to put any of these figures. Oh, okay, I wondered, there was an open space right there and it was Black Panther, the Walmart exclusive and he fell down and he just stuck right like that. So when I looked down, I didn't see anybody was just like laying down. I figure no one fell. He's supposed to be right there. No biggie. So yeah, these are just the overhaul. Just I have nowhere to put them. And kind of this shelf down here is just, I just displayed figures. Most of this was all laying down. Um, 
because I, I just I want them to fit in somewhere on the shelves like some of the other shelves but these figures I just have them displayed here is my MCU love this shelf just seen Infinity War and boy that was good Team Groot is awesome um, yeah I'm not gonna spoil it I'm not gonna talk about it too much but man I love that movie so this shelf this shelf means so much I really do like it I'm excited for the new the MCU figures that are coming out a part of like the 10 year anniversary line they're doing um, they look great and I'm glad I never picked up the Hulkbuster build a figure because we're getting a new one with like way better paint apps so looking forward to that the vision is so cool and Scarlet Witch that two pack from Toys R Us so yeah that's it with the uh, Marvel Legends though guys the Spider-Man shelf did I skip over Spider-Man or did I just go buy it really quick let's get back to Spider-Man Spider-Man is my favorite hero like straight up um, I do have some some stuff that I haven't opened yet. These two I still need to open and throw on the shelf somewhere, but I love Spider-Man. Now I got the villains over here, which looks like Chameleon fell over. There we go. Man. I hope we get a new Kingpin soon. Yeah, this is probably one of my favorite shelves next to like X-Men, but I, I love Spidey and I love the shelf. I need to do something with the the black suit, the symbiote one back there, because he's kind of covered up by everyone and that's one of my favorite figures. Yeah, that's it guys. That is the Marvel Legends. Stacked pretty high. They're, they're worse than the uh, Black Series as far as just being stacked on one another, but I have them all displayed on like wired hangers and stuff so I can have them... Uh, rising up behind the others so you can actually see them. These two shelves are all my three and three quarter Star Wars figures. I'm gonna run through them pretty quickly. Big fan of Rancors, always picking them up. Big fan of clones as well. These are all like movie clones. This shelf right here is very random. A lot of figures I just had no real room for in other shelves, so I threw them all together down there. Up here we have Force Unleashed. That Rancor is probably my favorite one, as well as the Shock T. I loved her design in the Force Unleashed games. And then right below them, we have my favorite line, the animated Clone Wars line. These clones are awesome. Jedi Temple Guard, the best 5 POA figure they've done. I really hope we get a 6 inch version of him in the Black Series. Here's my Star Tour shelf. Got the Star Speeder 1000. Love that piece. And then like half of these astromech droids are probably builder droids that I did at Disney. The other half are just ones I've acquired. But I'm a big, big fan of those. And then I have a bunch of loose, well obviously loose, but just uh, Clone Wars figures that I have nowhere to put. I just recently acquired them, so I want to find a shelf for just Clone Wars figures. Because I do have some other random Clone Wars figures scattered about on these shelves. But yeah, that's it. The three and three quarter collection. And then to the left of my three three quarter shelves, I have this just random shelf that has a lot of random goodness, a lot of random Star Wars goodness. So I have some uh, Disney Elite diecast figures up there. That is the first release Boba Fett, which the first release is different from the re-release one because they forgot to add his cape on that one. So he's a little more sought after. Um, and then I have some unleashed figures that's a luke and that's a shadow trooper back there those ones i haven't opened up i will open them up eventually got these old burger king cups the glass star wars cups i love it i'm missing four of them and i will have the complete series of the glass cups um and then here's my unleashed collection 
I try to open all these. I still haven't opened my Luke that I got at Kokomo Toys. I'm planning on it, just haven't done it yet. So here's the Unleashed. They're really cool. There's some really uh, goofy ones, but I think most of the ones I've gotten are pretty cool. I've tried to get the really cool ones. And then we have some vintage. Gotta show Kenner some love. Love the vintage collection. Very cool figures. Um, I'm in no way, shape, or form complete as far as this line goes, but I'm getting there. All these ones displayed are all complete um, and very minty. I'm trying to get like minty complete ones uh, to complete my collection. So, but they're looking cool. Except I, there is a couple that aren't complete. There's the last 17 Lando back there and the indoor Luke. Those ones I just picked up because they're really good prices to even if they're just loose figures with no accessories. But yeah, so I really do enjoy the vintage line. Got some old Ewoks I got from my buddy Grimace on Instagram. And then very random down here, got Elite Boba with the cape opened, Elite Vader, Elite Maul, got some busts right here. The Greedo and Boba Fett bust are really cool. Got the Han Solo. And then just a lot of random stuff. A lot of random stuff. Um, got some ships back here because I have nowhere to put them. Eventually, I want to kind of maybe hang them from the ceiling, displayed. Um, got a couple of these ATSTs stacked up because they were 15 bucks at Walmart. Had to grab those. Um, this, I just seen it in the background when I was spanning up. This is a uh, signed by the voice actress of Shock T. It's a signed figure. Very cool. I don't know why I have her just randomly back there on the wall like that, but hey. Let's move over to my Detoffs. Now we're going to get into some of my Detoffs. These two Detoffs are not really themed. They're just all higher end figures that I don't want displayed on an open shelf where they could possibly fall off and break. So up there is just some random older Dragon Ball Z figures, statues, some busts. Um, go down here, this is my Mezco collection, my small little Mezco collection, but I really do enjoy those figures. I just try to get the ones I really, really want. We'll go down. We'll keep going down. Got my egg attacks right here. The three up front are the ones I got at C2E2. There's my Star Wars Celebration exclusive X-Wing Luke. Got that at Celebration. Best time of my life. Best time of my life. Uh, moving down, we just got some random Star Wars figures. Got some, uh, what's it, Mafex. Some of the uh, figure arts. So with these two, I just kind of pick up the ones I really like. Um, or if I get them for a great deal, I pick them up for sure. And then down here, we got Black Series helmets. We got the basic Stormtrooper. And then I think it was Amazon exclusive Shadow Trooper. Love those helmets. Love what Black Series is doing with those helmets. Here's some more random statues. And then we go up here. We got my figure arts, my Dragon Ball Z figure arts collection, which... Not big on how they're displayed right now. I want to get some uh, dioramas to fit inside the Detolfs, but I really do enjoy Dragon Ball Z. It's it's one of my loves. So these fig arts figures, they mean a lot to me, and I really like them. Still a couple I need to pick up so I can kind of feel complete. I need the uh, Scouter Vegeta, the old, like Saiyan Saga Vegeta. I'm going to show you my little small sealed collection that I have. I got these really cool display racks for my buddy Johnny. I just kind of wanted part of my toy room to look kind of like a store. So these are all like vintage and I think the trilogy collection, just the ones with the really cool card backs. Um, got my NECA group right here. My Big neck of Groot, really cool. Um, and then behind him is just another rack with just sealed stuff. I really want to open this Republic gunship. I've wanted one forever, and my buddy Johnny, who got me these display racks, also helped me get this awesome Republic gunship for a really good deal. So I haven't opened it yet. I don't know why. I think it's just because I have no space right now for ships. All my Star Wars ships are either in the corner, displayed right there. Like, they're just all tucked away in places. I still have like a box downstairs full of ships that I just have nowhere to put right now. But we got the uh, exclusive Thrawn set. I love that set. Got the uh, Obi-Wan. It's one of my favorites. It's 
gives me chills. General Kenobi, years ago you served my father in the Clone Wars. Now he begs you to help him in his struggle against the Empire. I regret that I am unable to present. We miss you. We miss you, Princess. I love that little set. Um, then I have an awesome Hascon Rex, which I got from my friend Haley. She is awesome for hooking me up with that. God, I love that figure. Um, I love it packaged up like that. It looks so cool. I'm glad I never opened it. Um, but yeah, so here's some really good three and three quarter stuff. Just really good figures that I've bought. This is a grail right here. So happy to have one of these now. I wish I had one to open, but it's all good. But yeah, these are all figures that it's weird. When I was buying them, I was just getting them off Instagram from people for just really good deals. And now they've just kind of stacked up and now I don't know if I can open them all. I would like to open them all and display them because most of these are all figures I don't have, but they're all just really good figures, kind of pricier figures. So I've kept them sealed and I just really like this whole store look that I have just randomly on the side of my toy room, just in between my detolfs. All right, so I'm gonna go over, I have four details. So I'm gonna go over two at a time just so I can have the glass doors open so you can see the figures in there better. On top, I have some AT, ATs. Got some really cool autograph cards right here. If you know the Mortis arc, you know who these three are. And these three are awesome. And then I got these three too from Rogue One. Um, here's my picture with Mark Hamill that I got at Star Wars Celebration. Again, best time of my life. I was so flipping nervous to meet him. Like, I can't even explain. I didn't think I'd be that nervous. I was sweating so much. I felt like I was gonna cry. Like, I was so nervous. It was so lame. I don't know why I was that nervous. But he was so nice, he was so awesome. Rocking the Toy Bill shirt. Let's get it. Um, so yeah, let's get into the hot toys though. And the Sideshow, I got Sideshow as well. So we got two Sideshow clones right here. Gree and Rex. Two of my favorites, and we're just gonna pretty much roll through all these. I love Wolf. Um, and then at the bottom of these Detoffs, I just have some random helmets. I have that Rex helmet, old Hasbro one, Black Series, Kylo. Um, we have the Hot Toys R2D2, which lights up, has a chrome dome. Got a Sideshow X-Wing Luke. I really do like that figure. It gets a lot of hate, but I think it's awesome. Yes, it could have come. Uh, it could have came with more accessories, but I think it's pretty cool. Um, go over, we have a New Hope Luke and Obi-Wan. This Obi-Wan, I think, is one of the best. Oh, that light is not bright enough. It's one of the best hot toys they've done. They really captured Alec Guinness very well. It's one of my favorites. Back there, that's one of the Disney Park exclusive lightsabers. It's like the Black Series lightsabers. Um, very similar. It comes with the hilt, but the hilt is actually detachable, so you can... Or the blade is actually detachable. I'm sorry. The hilt is detachable from the blade. There we go. Let's put it that way. So you can display just the hilt. And it's it's die cast. It's heavy. It's really cool. And I like it displayed in the detolf next to Luke. So moving down, we got Hot Toys Han and Chewie. I really like those. Han looks great. Then we got some sideshows down here. We got Obi-Wan. We got Plo Koon. The Obi-Wan is is really cool just because of the clone armor like the whole concept of that kit fisto is pretty cool too the kit fisto and plo Koon, if none of you guys have any sideshows or hot toys and you think they're really expensive you could probably honestly all three of these are pretty affordable i think i got i grabbed all three of those off ebay for like either a hundred or under a hundred dollars and they look good especially for some older sideshow sideshow did some good work but plo Koon's probably my favorite he looks he just looks so cool detail on point like I said we got Kylo's black series helmet right there which is fetching a lot of money now which is pretty surprising so yeah here's the first two detolfs all right so the first shelf I have Tarkin and Vader and this is a sideshow Vader and he actually lights up it's pretty cool right below them I have my Leia shelf just got the Hoth Leia Maybe two months ago. Has it been two months already? And she looks great. Hot Toys did a great job. We've got some Rogue One action. Got a Death Trooper and a Scarif Trooper. Scarif Trooper is just very well done. They both are, but there's just something about him I really like. And then we got a TIE Fighter Pilot helmet, which is a Ruby's helmet. I got it at Hot Topic uh, last year when Halloween was going on. 
Got my Scout Troopers up here, my Black Series ones, just because, like I mentioned, I have no room for my Black Series collection right now, so I have to find places for them randomly in the room if they don't fit on the shelf. Then we got Boba Fett, which is my favorite. It's a better light over here. Um, this one is really cool as Hot Toys one. It comes with the Sarlacc Pit base. Very cool. This is like a Metacom. He's really cool. I need to get a base for him though. I don't have a stand. Um, and we got a Stormtrooper and Shock Trooper. That Shock Trooper was my first Hot Toys. I got that about a year and a half ago almost. And now it has turned into this. It is an addiction. Especially if you have them in detox, you're going to want to fill them up. Um, we got down here, we got Forlom and we got Prototype Fett. Prototype Fett is great. So detailed. Probably one of my favorite sideshows. The Forlom is really cool, but I missed out on IG-88, and now he's going for a lot. So I think I might either sell him or raffle him off. Um, just because now I don't plan on getting all the bounty hunters, so he's just kind of by himself randomly. And then we got Poe Dameron's X-Wing helmet, the Black Series. So yeah, guys, that is the Hot Toys collection. All right, guys, that is it. My toy room was that. Once I get my Transformers and my World Nintendo stuff displayed, I'll do like a little updated video, show you guys what those collections look like as well. And maybe when I do that, I'll maybe show off my pops and stuff. Um, Cause this is, like I said, this is my office, but I'm gonna hang all my artwork up in here. I have my pops in here. I have my Jack specific big figs in here. Um, so I'll show that off once I get this room kind of complete, but don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video. I'd appreciate it. Thank you for checking it out. And uh, if you guys have any questions, just hit me up on Instagram at Toy Bills. Until then, I will see you guys later.